more gamers, WarPG here. Uh, yeah, another video update, which is cool. Um, so I just have a few things I want to talk about real quickly. Uh, one first thing is probably the most important thing. Um, some of you might remember that I got a subscription for the White Dwarf um, from Games Workshop about in April for my 18th birthday. And, uh, well, I haven't yet received one of those magazines, or one of the magazines that I've, uh, obviously subscribed to. But, um, apparently, I wasn't put in, like, the database or something like that, where, uh, my name was supposed to be, so where they would send me the magazines and whatnot. And so I called down the Games Workshop, said, uh, that was the problem. And, uh, my grandpa, who actually bought me the subscription, uh, went down to the, uh, LA Battle Bunker, which is actually Westminster, uh, and he, uh, he talked to the managers and stuff and said, oh, um, the Games Workshop actually realized that it's their, their mistake that they, they put, put my name down, um, saying to get the subscription, so he actually got me, or not, uh, the Games Workshop actually gave me a whole bunch of White Dwarf magazines, and, um, this isn't the collection that I already have. I already have a few, I think I have like eight or so, um, that I just bought and other things like that. But I have all the recent 2011 uh, White Dwarfs, uh, so this is the newest one, and I also have the previous one, and then also the one for April. Uh, so I actually have two copies of this one, which is okay, and as you can see, um, it says Games Workshop Customer Copy, uh, and so they gave me 14, um, maybe it was 14, I think it was more than that, but they gave me a whole bunch of these uh, White Dwarfs just, just for free. Uh, it was awesome because they they realized that it was their uh, their mistake on their part and um, they just had a whole bunch of white dwarfs that they didn't um, really need anymore I guess and so they just kept bringing them out uh, for my grandpa and uh, so Games Workshop thank you that's awesome I think it's the most generous thing I've ever heard you do um, you realize that you guys made a mistake and uh, yeah. That's cool. So I have a lot of reading that I have to do. Uh, I also got a book, um, but that's off the topic right now. So I'll just show you all these Games Workshop ma magazines. So all you guys think, oh, Games Workshop just wants your money. Well, they could have easily made my grandpa um, pay for the subscription again, which would have been total BS. Um, but no, they gave him or gave me technically a uh, whole bunch of slew of new uh, magazines I don't have yet and also I have like a few copies I have probably like doubles of like two or three of them which is okay um, if you guys want one I can just like send it to you or something because I got it for free technically um, so yeah thank you uh, Games Workshop and most importantly thank you my grandpa for going down there and being able to take care of that um, of course now if I went down there and I probably went down to the Games Workshop and say what the heck they probably would not have done the same thing so uh, yeah, be cool to your grandparents. They they can do a lot for you. Um, so that's that. Uh, I think that's that was really cool. And um, another thing is that I am working on the tutorial uh, for for these dudes, um, my my dark angels. So you guys can't see them. Uh, yeah, that uh, that tutorial has been in the process for a little while. Uh, I have to find out where I am in the tutorial to actually get it done, and then. Um, have it all edited and stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to do that in the next week or so. Um, I'm leaving again for another two weeks on uh, in this month, the 22nd, so hopefully I can actually get this video out today, which would be really nice, because I'm really lazy on updating my videos. Um, and then also, I got a Tactical Squad, uh, Dark Angels Tactical Squad, uh, one of the older boxes, uh, so it actually comes with the old... You guys can't see this for anything, but I'm showing you anyway. Uh, it actually comes with the older um, sergeants, and then it has a plasma cannon that I came with, and also has a, it has a dark angel insignia and stuff like that all over it, which is really cool. Um, so I'll show you guys that later. Um, and then I'm actually working on some Tau stuff. Ooh, Tau, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's going to slowly be put back in the process of me doing things, um, along with some other little projects I want to keep working on. Um, so that's really all I have to show you. Um, I guess I can quickly put this down uh, in macro mode to show you the tactical squad that I'm building and some of the stuff I'm doing for the Tau. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. And uh, oh, so 
um, I wanted to buy spray paint uh, that would let me paint dark green and uh, a tan color. Should I have those? I don't have them around me. Uh, one second. So yeah, I wanted to get um, a spray paint that would allow me to um, paint the dark angels green. Uh, so that way I don't have to go and like if I wanted to paint my my rhino over here, uh, so I don't have to paint this all by hand. Um, my army painter for me is really expensive. Fifteen bucks a can just isn't gonna do it. Um, this was like seven bucks a can, uh, and then this was even like cheaper. I think by like a buck. This was six. Uh, I use this is a cryolon. Um, this is a satin paint, which is okay. Uh, it's kind of shiny, but not really. Uh, I'm still able to put down a wash, and it's um, it's ivory, so it's really close to the bleach bone or the Vallejo bone white. I think it is. I don't know where that paint went off to. Um, and so that seems to be working. Uh, I haven't painted my terminators yet because I still have to clean them and whatever. Uh, so I'll be later in the video. And then I have uh, this hunter green. Uh, I think it's actually supposed to be like a floral color, like you spray it on like fake plants or something like that. I don't know. Um, it was in the spray paint, spray paint area, so it seems to work. Uh, I tested on this chaos wire and I put a, a wash on it, and so it actually looks really good. Um, it is darker than the regular green I am using, uh, which is okay because I think like the tanks and stuff like that can be painted in the bigger batches and whatever. Um, so they'll be offset a little bit from the color, but it'll, I don't really think it'll matter too much. Um, so yeah, that, that stuff would be working. So fine spray paint that would closely match uh, like the main color of your army, and your life would be a whole lot easier. Because for these guys, I don't think I, I have to... Um, well, I'm going to be painting these guys like my tutorial. Uh, but for this, I don't really have to prime these, these things anymore, so I can use this primer for these guys. So, yeah. Um, without further ado, uh, I'll show you some of the other stuff I'm working on, and, uh, that'll be it. So, yeah. Alright, so real quickly before I show you the models, uh, this is the layout that I have my tripod right now. Um, it's really the bendy kind, you see it's like in individual little areas, so it's able to bend and stuff. And on my table it has a, um, like this lip area, so it's not just flat, um, this part just doesn't go across all underneath, uh, it's actually a lip. And so I just bent the um, the other leg uh, around it and so that's actually able to give me um, a really good area so I can have my camera looking down to what I'm doing and this is what I'm uh, or this is the uh, type of style that I used or um, configuration I used for my tripod uh, when I did my tutorial so you guys will see this once that gets all uploaded um, but yeah I'll go show you those models now Alright, so, uh, I got these guys, uh, once again, from a Dark Angels Tactical Squad box. I got off of eBay for kind of cheap. Um, I was actually hoping for a little bit more, or a little, actually pay a little bit less, but a little bit more in, in the box. Um, since it was old, I had to find my own, um, bits to make it an actual, like, Tactical Squad. Um, save for, like, the special weapon. Um, they don't have the special weapon sprue, so I went with Plasma because I didn't have any other melted guns. Um, in in the uh, in my bits, but uh, it's all right. So this is a fully plasma uh, squad, and this shoulder pad used to be the um, the Tech Marine type shoulder pad for, from the Ravenwing box, um, Ravenwing Battle Force. But I just shaved it, uh, shaved the little icon off, and so I'm a able to get that shoulder pad. And uh, so that's what these guys are looking like. Um, I mixed in some veteran bits. Uh, with some of the regular tactical squads and I had these shoulder pads um, I kinda wished that the tactical squad box actually came with these shoulder pads but unfortunately they didn't um, which is alright but uh... so yeah there's that guy and then here's the plasma cannon dude uh, probably not going to be able to see him too well because he's all shiny but you can see there it has that um, really cool icon that's actually engraved on the shoulder pad and then also on top of the each of these like little rivets right here, well not rivets, but like the armor plating, um, there's a um, elongated uh, Dark Angel symbol, which is really cool. And even on the little crest thing right there, there's one. Um, so yeah, there's that guy. And then um, there's this dude. Of course not in focus. So there's that guy. 
And then, I'm actually going to have to go and get uh, some more, or buy some more veteran bits, so I can spruce them around my army. Um, so that way they're not all just the same plain tactical guys. Uh, so that way they have some, some differences. And there's this guy. Just give more of that flavor to my army. And then I did another one of those daggers. And then I put one of the cooler helmets on this guy that my, uh, my company master has. And then finally I have the Auspex dude. Looking up. Kinda. Looking at it. So um, there's that. And then obviously I have all their bases and stuff. Uh, and then, so that's all my Dark Angel dudes I'll be working on sometime uh, these next few weeks. Um, or probably once I get back from uh, my trip. Uh, I'll be leaving two weeks for Canada. So if you guys remember uh, back in 08 or 09, I, I can't remember now. Um, but I went to Canada and I did my little vlog thing. So if you guys want to look at that, um, I might be doing something similar. Uh, I wanted to kind of do like a, uh, uh, I don't know, like a um, vlog thing for each day that I'm there for the actual Canada trip, not just for Warhammer, but I'll see what I do. Uh, so this is my crew that I'm painting. Uh, I have a list that I've been working on uh, for my crew and, or not for crew, but just for uh, my towel. So right now they're just uh, Aptus Battle Gray, um, Awash, Codex Gray, and then um, they have, uh, what is this, um, Sun Yellow from Vallejo Game Color um, dots around them. And they're going to have a little uh, camo dot thing um, around of orange and a different yellow and so we'll see how that works and yeah so that's the crew I'm working on for right now they're, they're turning out okay um, I don't much mind crew I'd rather not use crew but um, they're in the list that I'm working with and then I have I have ten of them all together so these guys just need to be um, grayed and then dotted so that's everything I'm working on for right now. Um, sneak peek on the guys I'm working for the uh, tutorial. Um, but before I bore you guys any longer or make this video any longer, I will sign off and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.